for those who are unsigned, unmanaged, unrepresented, um, I always say, you know, ask if, you know, say, is it okay if I bring somebody with me? Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, and, and it's just a, like a test. It's a, it's a test question. Yeah. If the photographer says, you know, no, I, I have to work alone. You know, uh, yeah. the only person who works alone is Chuck Norris. Okay, if you're going to shoot with Chuck Norris, it's okay. <laughs> but, okay, um, yeah, I've even, I've even had somebody say, hey, um, is it okay if I bring my dad? He's a cop, but he's really cool. <laughs> you know, and, you know, just something where you're sort of making it known that, you know, don't mess around with me. Yeah, and usually photographers are okay with that, especially in the very beginning stages. Um, you know, if you're getting headshots done, let's say, usually headshot photographers are going to say, "Yeah, you know, bring bring some. Don't bring 15 people. Um, <laughs> bring someone for moral support, for actual support. Um, if you're totally unrepresented um, and you don't have someone to support you, you have to make sure that." on set you are your own representative so mm -hmm. you're protecting yourself on set this gets difficult sometimes not just mentally but sometimes physically something can happen on set physically at a shoot and sometimes you can't protect yourself um in the way that you should be able to simply because there are sometimes physical differences between two people on a set. Um, yeah. it's, it's just a fact. Yeah. So, that's, that's uh, right. you know, that's why you want to do your research, do some due diligence, make sure that the photographer has a good reputation. We do have this thing called Google, where usually, <laughs> first of all, if you can't find someone, that's usually a red flag. And if you do find them, there's, there's, usually going to be some sort of reviews or something that will give you some kind of clue 